tonight we're joined by billy uh, he's a family member of mine and um yeah he does a lot of youth coaching his family's involved with a lot of coaching in general and whatnot I'm happy to be on obviously i'm a massive bears fan been around um, half of my life as you know is football <laughs> so uh between you know owning the united flag football league and and you know working for the U united youth football league and coaching now uh i'll be coaching 6u because santino's finally uh he just turned five so he wants he, i mean he's all about the football right now he was he was excited yesterday man to turn five this is the first thing he did he woke up I, I can play football now i was like okay hey you're raising the kid right for sure uh you want to tell us a little bit more about the uffl that you run and whatnot it's adult flag football it's i used to play when i was uh in my early 20s oh you know, there's contact non-contact there's uh, it's just it's a wide range from anywhere from four on four to five on five six on six seven on seven eight on eight you can go to unitedffl.com when you go on there there's all you know our email our phone number to get a hold of i'm, I'm co-owner so my my other owner's number is on there so I, you know i register leagues across the country to like today we just got one in toledo and then i run you know we got our january nationals that has been huge 354 teams last year you know the bears i'm dude the last two years has been garbage it's been terrible yeah, yeah it's have. been terrible and the fact that there are bears fans that are going around going oh my god well we have potentially this but potentially what there's not a lot to be except there wasn't up until this point to be excited about so i think what most fans are excited about is potential because correct because we did have the first overall pick last year and we were able to trade that back and and gathers a lot of you know treasure from it and whatnot and we want to put another first overall pick this year so you're looking at it as may hey maybe the future is bright here because of what they've been able to build to be in uh, you, listen without all that like say we we don't have the draft picks from carolina we're very average at best oh, right so 100 you were gifted carolina gifted you the number one pick this year normally normally what i would say is trade back get as much as you can trade back but that's what i said last year. you never had 100 you never had that that wasn't your pick your pick is at nine you have to have the mindset that this was gifted to you so just take caleb williams anyways you're gambling with house money you already 100%. won that trade you already oh, won yeah. that trade if you could just top it off with caleb williams oh my god you know what i mean i was a fan of justin fields when he got here <laughs> um <laughs> Early on, I was big on him. I was, like I said, I was making t-shirts, just incredible fields. I saw that. I thought, yeah, I know, right? Hilarious. I saw, I felt his potential and his ceiling was very high. I never thought his floor would be so low. So then I found myself constantly begging, like, hey, let's get this floor a little higher. Let, let's at least pass for 200 yards a game, every game. Like, he just couldn't do it. I want to hear what you have to say on, on the whole Justin Fields era here and and on what you think of Caleb Williams as a prospect coming to the Bears and, and what the future might hold with him as a quarterback. Out of respect for your show. <laughs> Out of respect for your show. Hey, you don't need to have any respect. Say what you want, no, man. Speak your mind. No, no. I gave him every single chance in the world. Okay, he looked good this game. He, You know, this game he threw – this game he threw for 300 yards. Okay, well, well, th that didn't happen often. Happened now, once, one yeah, time. Yeah, that's my point. I, I just I couldn't take it anymore. I am a as meathead Bears fan as it gets. I I can't go another game with 160 yards and 100 yards rushing. That is not a quarterback in the NFL. That is not going to win a Super Bowl. It's never going to happen. Never going to happen. Lamar Jackson is a prime example. And Lamar Jackson has a thousand times more talent than Justin Fields. When the Chicago Bears line was fully healthy, they were like eighth best in the NFL. That's top 10. Well, I so I that excuse, that excuse just get, I don't want to hear that no, anymore. I couldn't go another game seeing him sit in the pocket for four to five seconds because it was many, many instances where he had four to five seconds to throw the ball and he either misses a wide open guy or or he cl triple clutches four times throws the ball you know 
miss, completely overthrows a guy, underthrows a guy. There was times, don't get me wrong, there was times he made incredible throws. But what, I, I need I need more than incredible. I need consistent. I need Patrick Mahomes. Give me Patrick. I want Patrick Mahomes. I'm tired of the Bears losing. There's a, there's a lot of stuff on that team that you're like, man, if we could just get a damn quarterback to come in here and lead the team. And and so you don't think Caleb is that quarterback? I, I think he potentially could be. He is not afraid to throw the damn ball, man. He's not. He's not afraid to throw it. You know, there are there are times where you're watching him and he's, you know, running around, fling, you know, slinging the rock around. But when you watch extended highlights, it, you know, he makes his reads right away and gets rid of the ball. I've seen tape of Caleb Williams where he's making his first read during his drop back. You know, so he's going through it, and mentally it seems like he's there. Everybody goes, well, look at how he did in the Notre Dame game. Oh, okay, come on, guys. What about the, what about the other three years he was in – or two years he was in college when he was throwing for four or 500 yards a game sometimes? I don't, stop with the one-game crap. But Notre Dame – I mean, Notre Dame's defense held, held their own. He looked at – they made Caleb Williams look like crap. But I, I'm sorry, I don't base the guy's entire career on one one game. I don't. I won't, I won't ever do that. When you watch the tape, when you go and you watch the highlights and the tape and the games where the guy's throwing for 500 yards – He's making his first read, getting rid of the damn ball. You know, he, he's making two, three reads sometimes. Nothing's there. And he goes around and he runs around a corner, makes a play, and he throws a touchdown for 65 yards to a guy who's covered. Got to put it right over his right over his, right over his, right over his shoulder. Go watch the tape. The other thing I do is go watch the tape. If I went one more game with 165 yards and 75 yards rushing, I was, dude, I was, I was going to break my TV. <laughs> Well, I couldn't take it anymore.